Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters at Mayhem Show on the Twitter as well. This is 30 Days of WrestleMania Part 3, WrestleMania 3, and this is the one you guys know. This is the one that really kind of set the tone, set the giant grandness of it all in, in as far as WrestleManias go. This is the one with Andre the Giant. This is the one with uh, Hulk Hogan. Uh, just 93,000 people in this giant stadium. Absolutely tremendous. Um, this is the one that sets it. Like I said, it, it, this is the one that had such a great collection of matches. There was so much stuff that happened here. Yeah, Junkyard Dog uh, the, the, and King Harley Race. You know, everything had an angle to it. Um, even like the, the the lower matches were really the pan the Can Am uh, connection against uh, the the Rougeau brothers. Seeing some of the first things there, the 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 turn and then creation of Brutus the Barber Beefcake before our eyes. Uh, the one time leaving Rowdy Roddy Piper against Adrian Adonis. It's such tremendous tremendous stuff it feels like history even now when we look back to something like this um it's so great and 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 to see something on such a giant scale you know down to seeing the the carts that they bring everybody else out on because the aisle is just far 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 too long they make everybody take the hike these days that's interesting enough um but i'm sure it's a little bit shorter maybe not by much queen <laughs> queen mula out there um such a great stuff. Uh, pics here on video, of course, uh, WWE.com at WrestleMania.com. And of course, the biggest thing, uh, Andre the Giant. If you didn't, to me, this was this is the Andre I knew. I wasn't, you know, much we talked about with WrestleMania 2. I didn't know that version of WWF so much. That was really kind of alien to me. Like, this is the era that where I got into wrestling. And Andre in the black singlet with the shorter hair. Um, to go back and see Fro Andre or Good Guy Andre was always weird to me, right? Um, because this is my area. This is definitely my era. But uh, but you can definitely still, even if you weren't there, and, and if you go through the packages and see like how epic uh, Andre was. And uh, for me, I always would check out the uh, the Hulkamania uh, videotapes uh, at my video store and see that build to that. I mean, this is the classic classic confrontation and it does not get too much better than this and it was the biggest thing at the time that to, to have that many people then not today where wwe is a giant multinational conglomerate not a conglomerate but giant 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 production and giant distribution like this is far before that and it's incredible to see this and that accomplishment. I mean, to the fact where we didn't have it in big venues the next two years. And it had its ups and downs. It's a few years before they started doing the Houston Dome again. And they started doing uh, uh, Toronto for WrestleMania VI. Um, it, it, it had its up and ups and downs. And, uh, and, and this was the first, like, what it can be for the rest of it. And I think we, we mimic this in its scale um year to year on a regular basis without fail um for the past geez 10 years more than 10 years uh that they've been putting it in arenas and baseball fields and 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 football fields and and just putting 70 80 000 people on on the regular at wrestlemania makes it completely fantastic and a giant giant big deal so um definitely check it out you know great matches Macho Man Steamboat, a classic as always. If you have not yet, check out this match. It's it's one of the biggest. It's the one that influences guys like Chris Jericho um, and all the luchadors. It shows that you know it's not the big behemoths like we see at the top, like Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant, Roddy Piper at his finest at this point too. Um, it really is. I, I think it's around the first time that he was he was a good guy uh, for WWF, and um, and and I think around the time he was going to do They Live and and movies like that. It is also kind of funny. Jesse Ventura pops up after apparently after a while of not being around WWF, uh, uh, just before Predator came out with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Isn't that interesting? Um, but uh, other than that, uh, the, the <laughs> mixed tag match, like, some of the spectacle stuff. So like the mixed tag match stuff with uh, 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 King Kong Bundy and uh, Hillbilly Jim. I said, just a spectacle up and down through all this. And all really all your favorites are, are <laughs> kind of, it, it is the best of the best. This isn't like what we were, we were talking about. I was talking with somebody 
um, I, uh, the other night about like WrestleMania one and how weird and not a tremendously great card it was versus this was well built. If it, it felt like WrestleMania one in that happened in the middle of all the regular stuff that happens with the WWF in 1985, whereas this is okay. Let's build a lot of stuff to this like they had a year to figure out how do we get to this wrestlemania and make it feel as big as possible and uh and and it, and it really does and i think it really does hold up uh you gotta I, again another uh if you're if you're too young to remember um i remember him myself from mr belvedere uh bob bob euchre all over this thing um and i think he was for the next year of wrestlemania or two too we'll find out here as i get through the rest of these um but tremendous stuff uh check it out wwe network or if you have that box set i got one well, staring at it here in the studio myself i'm not dusting that thing off when everything's online for hd and doesn't have those stupid stupid logo blurs when we get around the attitude era but until next time stay with us 30 days of wrestlemania and you can check it all out at youtube.com slash wrestling mayhem show wrestling mayhem show.com to see all the previous and all the upcoming ones subscribe so you don't miss a single one of them we'll catch you guys next time this show is a member of the sorgatron media podcast network Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.